Lucifer. Yeah. How did you get here? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you come back for more. I am happy to oblige. Bracelet, bros. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Dan. I, I, I went to see Lamech, thinking he was part of my guilt, but then there was a lion, and, and, and then Lamech escaped, and then he grabbed the clerk's gun, and I jumped into his body, and now, uh, now I'm stuck. So you're inside the man that murdered you? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> only you could do something so completely, absurdly ridiculous. <laughs> Lucifer, this isn't funny. I'm trapped. Well, why don't you just jump out of him the same way you jumped into him? I tried that. It didn't work. And then I realized if it did, I'd basically be setting a fugitive free. That's why I'm here. So you can tell me how to get out and then haul this cold-blooded killer back to prison. Well, I'm really sorry, Daniel, but I have no idea how to help you. Also, I'm in a bit of a hurry, Wait, so... you have no idea. So I, I, so I, I could be stuck in here, forever. Maybe you'll leave Lamech when he dies. Hmm? Something similar happens when demons possess bodies. Fingers crossed. I am truly sorry that I can't help you. And I'm sorry that you were trapped in hell. And this whole ghost thing. And I sincerely wish that I had been able to help you work through your guilt so that you could get to heaven. Where a good man like you belongs. Cheers. Oh. Silver lining. This could be an opportunity. New body, new start. I can't stay in this body, Lucifer. Lamech is an escaped convict. There's a nationwide manhunt going on for him right now. I mean, best case, I, I live life on the run. Worst case, I spend it in Lamech's prison cell. Purgatory all over again. Well, it appears neither of us have time to waste then. What does that mean? So much to explain. Uh, I have started to patch things up with Rory, my daughter from the future. So she doesn't want to kill you with those <laughs> crazy wings of hers anymore? Thankfully, no. But she has informed me of a rather more disturbing fate. Apparently sometime today I head over to Tenth and Swanson and I'm never seen again. Wow. Mm. Okay. Well, just don't go to Tenth and Swanson. Yes, Daniel, thank you. That had occurred to me. Yes, it's a whole debate, fate versus free will. Don't get me started. Anyway, the point is, Daniel, as my own clock ticks away, I'm realizing it's less about what we do with our final hours and more about who we spend them with. So, Daniel, while you have this physical form, maybe you should think about who you want to spend your final hours with.